It's winter holiday time on the island of Sodor. Ah! Driver says there's more snow on the way, said Edward. I just snorted a suitcase full of coke and I'm starting to feel the effects. <laughs> I don't like my coke. And he listened happily to Edward. He told the engines they were to have snow plows fitted. Thomas was excited about his special, but not about his snowplow. Suddenly, his snowplow hit the rock. Bouncing buffers, exclaimed Thomas. My plow is broken. The water tower. There are no spare snowplows, so you'll just have to do without yours for a while. Oh, but suddenly... My phone lines are down. All the roads are blocked and my sheep is big. Toby raced to the signal box, and the driver Call the police! Oops, said Toby innocently, as Duck chuffed out of the station. Toby was surprised to see Duck return to the station. I tried my hardest, puffed Duck, but the weather's getting worse. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Then Toby had an idea. My old branch line runs out there, sir. Remember? That's far too dangerous, said the back controller. It would never carry duck's weight. But Toby had forgotten about the rickety old bridge. <laughs> Jack Frost is not scary. Yes, he is, T Stop. Percy wasn't so sure. Jack Frost is not scary. Silly Percy, he thought. All steamed up over Jack Frost. Oh! Uh, hello, J J James, muttered Percy icily. Oh, oh shit, not good. I saw scary Jack Frost last night, James Huff. He even knows my name. He also knows that you ran away. Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle love the quiet of Misty Valley. But Thomas must be careful of rocks. Oh, shit, there's fog ahead. Fuck you, Cyril, said Thomas. That night at the sheds, the fat controller had something special to show the engines. It was very large and strange looking. It's a new invention, a railway foghorn, said the fat controller. It warns you when there's fog ahead, like this. <coughs> Hello, Quindale Tingle here. I was caught running thy opposition's pocket. Thomas, worried. What will Cyril do now? He asked. They should be killed and disposed of with a minimum of fuss. Poor Cyril. Poor Cyril. Poor Cyril. The next day, Percy was cheerfully chuffing through Misty Valley when suddenly. <coughs> Oh, bother! exclaimed Percy. That foghorn is so loud it rattles my dome, and it doesn't even make my axles tingle. Oh, yeah? The foghorn had been so loud that Smudger just laughed. <laughs> I can't see a thing, said Thomas. And then, before he could even think of anything else. Said his driver, but at least nobody's been hurt. Toby.